I'm gonna create some problems for you. All right. How's that? Well, yeah. what's with the accent? What accent? <laughs> I'm gonna create some problems for you. My Coors Light accent. <laughs> Last week on Sailing Adrift, we finally found the perfect sink. We also installed a bunch of hoses and pumps in the aft head and gave you a tour of how all the components are being installed. So this morning I'm working on a little project. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. The bridge and puntman. There's a big debate. Do you have TVs on your boat? Do you not have TVs on your boat? The answer is we're going to watch something at some point. So why not have a dedicated media center so you can enjoy yourself and not stare at things on a laptop? So let's be real. We're going to put a TV on the boat. And here's how we're going to do it. This is going to be the media box. It will live right above our bed in our cabin. And then we'll probably have another viewing center in the salon. I'm going to mount inside the cabinet all these things. You've got a 24-inch TV that's powered by 19-volt two four inch speakers and this will be just kind of like a it's a steel security door that's operated by a key that we'll probably use to store sensitive documents and things like that but, um, and then this will live on the side over here this will control the volume for the tv and run the power to the speakers this is a very cool little Pile, what a terrible company name. Why would you call your company name Pile? I don't care what your last name is. Anyway, this guy will power the four speakers. It's not very powerful, but it runs on 12 volts, so that's cool. But right here will live, on the side here, will live a HDMI output so we can plug in things. That way if the boys have an Xbox or something like that, then they can just plug right into the TV directly through the box and not have to get all complicated. I'm going to start laying out all the cuts I need to make on this piece of plywood. We can put straps on the top the bottom on either side to hold it in place that's the plan let's hope it works made a bit of a mess but look at that so speaker speaker tv security door amp controller and hdmi port let's take this bad boy out and put a bunch of holes in it man it is wet i mean this is portland but we do get some sunshine on occasion i could use an 83 day i don't know about you So we have a couple of little nicks that we're going to have to fill with some thickened epoxy, but we had to do that anyway because you don't want raw plywood edges. That looks ugly. So what we'll do is mix up some thickened epoxy and run it along these edges to smooth these out. Uh, clean these up with a little sanding. But we should be able to go test fit all of this and make sure it works when the TV sits in there nicely. That's the idea. Overall, I think this looks pretty great. Came out just like I was hoping. So right now, the problem we have to deal with, this is a big square or a rectangle, and where it's going to go in the boat is not. Which means the next thing we need to do is trace the contour of the uh, headliner and trace that onto this so we can make the cuts. We'll also need to figure out part of this we're going to end up cutting off and lining all that up so that we can make the install into the aft cabin. So that's what I'm up to this afternoon. I'm gonna use my new trick, cut a piece of ram board to the rough width, but not height of the box. And then we'll go up there with the compass and trace the contour onto the ram board, cut the ram board and then put that over the top of the box over there and trace the line we need to cut. Then we'll reinforce it so that when we make the cut, it doesn't fall into pieces and then make the cut and then install it in the boat. 52 easy steps. Here we go. What are you whining about, girl? What? What is it? What? Okay, bye.
made it. So slippery with socks on. The top line and this side line over here are square. So those are the two we're really focusing on. So to do that, we're gonna need a lover. Here we go. The idea is to take this up square and then trace with the compass using the point up here on the ceiling uh, and the pencil down here on the paper to get the perfect contour angle. And then we can transfer that over to our box. So we'll start by... Without slipping and falling on our butts. There, easy peasy. To me, I did that seem a little too easy. So here she sits. We've added a couple of things. This will be the shelf that lives in the middle. Uh, this will be the top, so we can protect all the wires that are going to run through those cutouts on either of these from the TV up and through to the electronics that will live in this area. So the next step is to hack this thing so it's going to fit the contour of the top of the room, the ceiling. There's a line, it's difficult to see, but it goes right through here that we're going to cut all the way through and basically cut this corner off. This thing is epoxied and screwed in place so it'll take over the uh, bracing of that corner so we shouldn't lose any shape. And then once that's done, we've got to cut this corner off, which again will be taken over for by this, but it will actually keep this one fully intact down here. We'll have to make the same cuts on this guy, obviously. So that's my next step is to line those cuts up, get ready to mount everything, give it a coat of paint, hang it up. This should give us a nice clean line over both pieces. If I can get it up here without causing problems. Here we go, pivot! <laughs> pivot! The top is cut, the side is cut. Now we need to dry fit it to see how much room we will need at the top. And our level is about great, perfect. So you might be wondering why I choose to build the boxes and then hack them up to fit into the, the parameters of the boat. And you know, I've done it both ways, and I find this to be the easiest to be accurate with. Getting the angles right is really difficult, but when you start with something that's square and then cut the corners off, it's a lot easier to get the angles right than if you try to build it right in place to suit, especially with the face pieces. So that is why I go this route. It might not be the most efficient, but hey, if you find something that works, that is level. So I'm gonna call this a victory. See you in the morning. So we'll give that a sand and it'll be time for primer. And it'll be time to install it. And for my first trick, I will be finishing the priming on these pieces. Ready to do this? Ready. Your turn. I almost grabbed it. Yeah, so. well, don't do that. <laughs> Are you nervous? This I is am, the finished coat. I am pretty nervous. You I should feel be. like I should be experimenting with the priming stage, but we'll pass that. Yep, it's time for you to get in there and do some real work, well, Kelly. I'm gonna get in there. And None of that under alignment. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna create some problems for you. All right. How's that? Well, yeah. What's with the accent? What accent? I'm gonna create some problems for you. 
That's my, Hill, Hill. That's my Coors Light accent. <laughs> the banquet of beers. That's not Coors Light. Yeah, it is. Oh, is it? it? Where does it say Light? Oh, it's just Coors. It's Coors Banquet. Yeah. The original. Alrighty. There's Kelly's testing field. Do you want to do one more spray test? Or are you ready to do this? Ready? Yeah. You ready? Mm hmm. Nope, way too fast. Too fast. There you go. Good. Okay. You got this, dude. I have all the faith. And all the sandpaper if you f it up. Ready? Yep. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, this is your practice side because this is the ugly side. Yes. And then we're slipping it around and you gotta do the pretty side. So I'm gonna back out. Do it. Yeah, I mean, I if you, if it starts doing something you don't like, stop pulling the trigger. It's not gonna hurt anything. All right, when you do this time, go a little faster. I think you're taking that confidence in too far. Ready? Kind of. Are you ready for the good side? Yeah. You think you got this? I think I do. This is the important side. Okay. We'll have the, this problem for the rest of our lives if you screw this part up. Um. Good work. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them all sway. All right, I think we're done for the night. Just leave that here and go clean this, and then, you know, do the inside of the boat tomorrow. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Let's see how our media cabinet did. How did Kelly do? The visible stuff, and it looks pretty great. Good job, Kelly. I think we're ready to install this thing. It's time for the exciting conclusion. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, what we need to do is line this up. Mm -hmm. Get some of that thick and epoxy stuff. Yep. And then uh, screw it in from this side. And we should be good to go. Are you screwing it in from the other side? Yeah, of course. Oh. Huh. How would you screw through this? I don't this know. This is much easier you to can't just through. like splooge it to the wall. With thickened epoxy. Kelly, that only works for socks. Scrape if you do. This goes like this. So I'll go mix up the epoxy. Okay. And get going. Ready? Ready. It's nice that you've marked these because what a fun guessing game that would be. Well, yeah, that's why I did it. You're so smart. Forethought sometimes, just sometimes. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna run the smallest of beads. All of this is designed to do is not necessarily to create the seal. The screws are gonna help hold it in place. This is just to keep it from squeaking. All right, would you rather screw things in or hold them in place? Hold them in place. Okay, that requires. I have a tripod. I am ready for this. Right, so hold it like this, would you? It doesn't have to stay perfect. Just put that in there. Everything's at zero? Everything's at zero. Tight? Tight. Here we go. I can't see it not hitting, but I can't feel like a good vibration. On the inside. Yeah, it looks like it's sucked in. Nice and tight? Yeah. Guess how long that took? Not that long. An hour and 45 minutes. Nope, that's not true. 13 minutes. That sounds more accurate. This looks really good on camera. I mean, it looks good in real life too, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's just gonna hold the little, um, the pile, the pile, yeah, or pile. <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> Kelly, help me. Now it's time to install all the goods. Pile, where is the TV? A 
up on top of the toilet. You can grab that. Of course. All right, Kelly, you want to do the honors? Sure. Whoa. That was like super easy. Except for it wasn't because it was really hard <laughs> and sweaty. It turned out good. That turned out great. But this reminds me of going into a car toys. <laughs> Definitely does. <laughs> and we'll have an outlet probably living over here somewhere to make it so we can plug AC devices in and an HDMI cable plug-in for things like Xboxes because I'm really into the Xbox. I'm super awesome at the mm -hmm. Fortnite. What do you think, Kelly? I think do it looks love great. It? I love it. You're right on with the car toys thing. Yeah. It just looks like a display right now. Look at the light switch over there to turn on the night lights. So when you're getting out of bed, you can just go. Oh, and have dude! Night lights. I didn't know that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. 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 A little nightlight action. Yeah. For nighttime. <laughs> For nights. Nighttime whiz nights runs. Means what? Overall, very pleased. I think that looks pretty good. What do you think, Kel? Dude, it looks awesome. Well, should we uh, go make a cocktail? That was a suggestion we had from one of our regular watchers <laughs> and Kelly's sister-in-law. I guess technically my sister-in-law. Yeah, duh. Yeah. That's how that works. So uh, she wanted us to make a cocktail every episode at the end and sit down and have a little chat. I think that's a great idea. Good deal. Now I got to think of a cocktail to make. All right, here's a classic, but a good one. A real whiskey sour. Start by making a couple of garnishes. I don't have cherries, but that's the way you should go. If you don't have cherries, use a swath of lemon. Okay, so what makes it a classic whiskey sour? Well, that would be this guy right here. Not the whole egg, just the whites. Trust me on this. Trust me on this. Because it makes it frothy and delicious. And your chances of getting salmonella YOLO. You know what I mean? Here's what you do. Take this part off the strainer, drop it in. This is called dry shake. It makes your egg white nice and frothy. I'm not used to shaking this way. Usually I go over my shoulder. Really shake the hell out of that till, you know, like it's frothy like that. It should take about half a minute, maybe a whole minute to do. Then pop that back open and add the rest of your ingredients. This is for two. So if you're making one, that's right, use half. Full ounce and a half of lemon juice, followed by a full ounce and a half of simple syrup, which is super easy to make. One part sugar, one part water. Get it hot until it all mixes together. Then use your favorite bourbon. My favorite is Buffalo Trace, but we're out of that. So I'm gonna have to substitute Bushmills. This is gonna seem boozy, but trust me, this is the right ratio. So it's two ounces per drink, four ounces total. Now is where the ice comes in. Take your little frother, put it back on its strainer, buddy. A little rule of thumb when shaking or stirring. If it's opaque, go ahead and shake, but if it's clear, stir. I didn't rhyme. Get you some pretty glasses. And a couple of honkin' ice cubes. Big rocks. And strain. See that frothy deliciousness? That's what you're after. Yeah, get a little oil on the outside. Float that sucker in there. Ah, the essence. A couple of classic whiskey sours for your imbibing enjoyment. Après vous. Why, thank you. Well, cheers to another project completed. Oh, mm. just kidding, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. Hey you, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and you wanna keep following along, become a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button below. Après vous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to Nova there. Cheers to you. <laughs> <laughs>